Mastering, ought to, a semi-modal verb powerhouse. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of semi-modal verbs, focusing specifically on the phrase, ought to. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to use, ought to, correctly and with confidence in your everyday English conversations and writings. Ought to, is what we call a semi-modal verb. Like other modal verbs, it's used with another verb to express things like necessity, advice, expectation, and probability. However, it's a little bit different from typical modals, which is why we call it semi-modal. One common use of ought to is when we give advice. We use it to express something that is the best course of action or the right thing to do. For instance, you ought to study for your test tomorrow. She ought to apologize for her behavior. Another way we use ought to is to express expectation or probability. We use it when we believe something is likely based on the information we have. Here are some examples. It ought to rain later according to the weather forecast. He ought to be home by now. His class ended an hour ago. You might be wondering how ought to is different from should, as they are often used in similar contexts. In most cases, ought to and should can be used interchangeably. They both indicate advice, obligation, or likelihood. However, ought to is less frequently used and slightly more formal than should. Here's an example. You ought to stop eating junk food. More formal. You should stop eating junk food. Less formal. There you have it. You've now mastered the use of the semi-modal verb ought to in English. Remember, practice makes perfect. So try using ought to in your English conversations and writings whenever possible. I hope this video has been helpful and that you're feeling more confident in your journey of English language learning. Keep practicing and stay tuned for more exciting lessons.